about uh, high pass and low pass filters. Actually, in one of the videos months back, we talked about filters or kernels. That video was requested by a subscriber and this video is another requested video. And the reason I'm using photo of a filter here is because I want you to understand that filtering that we're talking about in image processing is just like filtering in the in the kitchen. When you are filtering tea or coffee or even plain milk, your aim is to let certain elements pass through the filter and let other elements be trapped in it, right? That's how filtering works. And this is how we work with filters in image processing as well. When we are specifically dealing with frequency components of image uh, and we also call this filter kernel in image processing, okay? And today we are talking about high and low pass filters and they are related to the filters we talked about in that video. I would share the link to that video in the description and on I button in the top, uh, on the top corner. Uh, in the in the description box, I will definitely share, but I think I should also use the, the top corner I button. So I will post the link there as well. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about these filters now. And both these filters work with frequency. You should remember that. Now you also need to understand that when frequency is high, and here I'm assuming that you already know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know, you can always ask and I will try my best to explain. So if we, are talk if we have an image and when the frequency is high, the image will appear sharper than before. Okay. And if the frequency is low, we are talking about the intensity of the pixels. But we are specifically dealing with frequency here. We are not talking about spatial order right we are talking about frequency if you remember uh, we talked about two types of filters right so here we are dealing with frequency and not with pixels okay so image will appear sharper if the frequency is high and if the frequency is low the image appears more smooth and the frequency in an image can also be taken as a rate of change for better illustration that means if you see the sharp edges like in this image, right? The sharp edges, wherever you see the sharp edges, where certain parts of the image are changing quickly from one to another color, these are high frequency components, okay? The sharpness, okay, where you can see the quick change from one to another color, okay? The, these are high frequency components. And when we are talking about low frequency, in this image, if you notice, the edges are not that visible, right? If you look at specifically at this point, we don't see the edges. Edges are not specifically visible, right? The change is very gradual. It's not very quick. It is very gradual change. Okay, so these are low frequency components. I tried to pick the best images as I could because I have to pick the ones that are, you know, copyright free. So uh, I hope uh, low frequency components are understood now. And with high pass, when we are talking about high pass filters, as the name suggests, the high frequency will pass through the filter and low frequency will be trapped in the filter or it will be blocked. Okay, and when high frequency is allowed, high frequency, high pass, high frequency is passed, high frequency is allowed, and low frequency is not allowed, it will automatically make the high frequency component be more visible in the image. Okay, and the image will have sharp points uh, and it will show quick changes. Okay, and if you look at this image, if you uh, see like you can easily see the change, you know, these are the sharp points that depict the change, right? The, and how are these uh, changes actually, how are they, these changes actually visible because of the edges, because they are showing a distinction, right? And because of uh, this 
quality these filters are used for sharpening when low frequency is suppressed and high frequency is allowed in the image okay image will automatically look sharp and how can image look sharp when edges are visible so in a way it is also used for edge detection okay it makes the image sharp with the help of uh, making the edges more visible okay this is high pass and when we are talking about low pass as the name suggests the low frequency components will pass through the filter and high frequency components will be blocked or trapped in the filter and when high frequency components are blocked or in a way eliminated then sharp edges will not be visible the quick change that we talked about in high pass filtering it won't be visible and image will be blurred with low frequency elements as you can see in this area even uh, there are no sharp edges right so this area looks blurred and there is very there is like not there is very gradual change right and because of this property these uh, low pass filters are also used for uh, they are definitely used for smoothing which means edges will not be visible and uh, these are sort of blurred images you know and it is done by suppressing suppress suppress you are suppressing in a way you are eliminating the high frequency components okay and you are letting the low frequency components or low frequ frequency elements uh, in a way shine or be more visible okay and shine doesn't mean that it is you know shining like with high intensity it means that it is more visible and it's also used in anti alive uh, if you remember there is uh, aliasing right uh, in images one of the you know thing that we want to get rid of so these filters are used in anti aliasing so these are anti aliasing filters as well because aliasing usually occurs when bandwidth is not restricted which can easily be like there is some sort of bandwidth that needs to be restricted if it is not restricted in some cases aliasing will occur and this restriction can easily be imposed it can easily be done by low pass filter that as it will restrict the high frequency okay we'll talk about that also in some other video and uh, finally now what is this high or low frequency that we're talking about like we are saying that uh, low frequency or high frequency will be passed or low frequency will be passed and all of that who decides the uh, range or who decides the amount like can i say 10 is high frequency can i say 2 is low frequency well it depends on the value set by you it depends on the threshold or the how do we say it cut off value okay everyone will have different perception and it all depends on uh, user and if you if you ever used image editing tools or software you would know they have these features to sharpen an image or to smooth it or to blur it or even blur the background or something right so it's pretty much the same and in the background you know when you are using these tools one of these filters are uh, in play so i hope these two filters are clear now if not you can always ask and in the next video lecture will uh, try to expand on some other aspects of the same and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next video lecture till then take care